Okay, I think the first thing I'm going to do is because I'm going to I'm going to end up hot gluing the bottom of this to level it a bit. So uh, you can see the uh, the CPU here is it sits about as high as this would if I uh, decided to connect my power to the bottom. So I'm the first thing I'm going to do is connect my uh, micro low C here pigtail to the We've got a uh, positive and a negative for ground for the black here, and then we're going to put our positive over there. And then I'm just going to check that the way I do it. I've made it long enough that when it's on the quadcopter, I'm going to be able to loop it around to where my battery is. So that's why I cut it around this length, almost the same length as the board. But anyway, so I'm just going to start with that. I'm going to connect my power here. Yeah. There we go. It doesn't take too much. There we go. So I got my power on there. Not the nicest looking job, but whatever. And I got these micro low C connectors here, like a twenty, a pack of twenty for three dollars on eBay. So that's where you can find those. I'll put a little link for that. And so now I'm just going to put some hot glue across some of this and level it out. So that so you can see it's kind of uneven for leveling and you want it to be sitting level. So I'll put some hot glue on there and smush it onto my table, make it all flat, and then I'll have a nice flat bottom to it to stick on to my frame. Here we go. Pretty level. There we go. When I pry that off of there, it should have a nice flat bottom on it. Then I'll sticky tape right onto my frame and off we go. I don't really know if it matters. It might, but uh, I only tried to put the hot glue in the areas where it needed leveling. I didn't cover the whole chip, uh, the main chip with glue. I don't know if it needs some air, but it hasn't been a problem in the past. So. so yeah, if you check out the the bottom's nice and level now, pretty flat anyway, so it should sit nice and even on my frame. So that's uh, kind of a nice trick. It also, when you put some hot glue over your power leads, it relieves this, the joints so that if, as you're bending around lots, you're not going to break that solder connection there. I might actually even just support that a little more on the sides here because that's where it's going to bend a lot. When I'm connecting my battery. Hmm, pretty good. So, double side tape. This double-sided tape is also from Banggood, and I've heard that it's best if you can really let it settle, you know, in one spot with some pressure to really hold, but I'm not going to worry too much about that right now, but it is helpful so it doesn't pop off while you're flying. I've never had one come off while I'm flying it. And then here we go. So that's kind of my first. Uh, sometimes I'll even add a dab of hot glue somewhere, but really, I think this this tape really holds well. So I'm gonna leave it like that, and on to the next step.